Archaea is a phage, is a virus that infects and replicates within bacteria and archaea. The term was derived from bacteria in the Greek phi alpha gamma epsilon nu, phagin, to devour. Bacteriophages are composed of proteins that encapsulate a DNA or RNA genome, and may have relatively simple or elaborate structures. Their genomes may encode as few as four genes and as many as hundreds of genes. Phages replicate within the bacterium following the injection of their genome into its cytoplasm. Bacteriophages are among the most common and diverse entities in the biosphere. Bacteriophages are ubiquitous viruses, found wherever bacteria exist. It is estimated there are more than 10 bacteriophages on the planet, more than every other organism on Earth, including bacteria, combined. Phages are widely distributed in locations populated by bacterial hosts, such as soil or the intestines of animals. One of the densest natural sources for phage and other viruses is seawater, where up to 9 by 10 virions per milliliter have been found in microbial mats at the surface, and up to 70% of marine bacteria may be infected by phages. They have been used for over 90 years as an alternative to antibiotics in the former Soviet Union and Central Europe as well as in France. They are seen as a possible therapy against multi-drug resistant strains of many bacteria. See phage therapy. Nevertheless, phages of Inoviridae have been shown to complicate biofilms involved in pneumonia and cystic fibrosis and shelter the bacteria from drugs meant to eradicate disease, thus promote persistent infection. Bacteriophages occur abundantly in the biosphere with different genomes, and lifestyles. Phages are classified by the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses, ICTB, according to morphology and nucleic acid. Nineteen families are currently recognized by the ICTB that infect bacteria and archaea. Of these, only two families have RNA genomes, and only five families are surrounded by an envelope. Of the viral families with DNA genomes, only two have single-stranded genomes. Eight of the viral families with DNA genomes have circular genomes while nine have linear genomes. Nine families infect bacteria only, nine infect archaea only, and one, Tectoviridae, infects both bacteria and archaea. In 1896, Ernest Hanbury Hankin reported that something in the waters of the Ganges and Yamuna rivers in India had marked antibacterial action against cholera and could pass through a very fine porcelain filter. In 1915, British bacteriologist Frederick Tort, superintendent of the Brown Institution of London, discovered a small agent that infected and killed bacteria. He believed the agent must be one of the following. Tort's work was interrupted by the onset of World War I and shortage of funding. Independently, French-Canadian microbiologist Félix Derrell, working at the Pasteur Institute in Paris, announced on September 3, 1917, that he had discovered an invisible, antagonistic microbe of the dysentery bacillus. For Darrell, there was no question as to the nature of his discovery, in a flash I had understood, what caused my clear spots was in fact an invisible microbe. A virus parasitic on bacteria. Darrell called the virus a bacteriophage or bacteria eater, from the Greek phage and meaning to devour. He also recorded a dramatic account of a man suffering from dysentery who was restored to good health by the bacteriophages. It was Darrell who conducted much research into bacteriophages and introduced the concept of phage therapy. In 1969, Max Dalbrook, Alfred Hershey and Salvador Loria were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discoveries of the replication of viruses and their genetic structure. Phages were discovered to be antibacterial agents and were used in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia, pioneered there by Georgi Eliava with help from co discoverer of bacteriophages, Felix Darrell, during the 1920s and 1930s for treating bacterial infections. They had widespread use, including treatment of soldiers in the Red Army. However, they were abandoned for general use in the West for several reasons. The use of phages has continued since the end of the Cold War in Georgia and elsewhere in Central and Eastern Europe. The first regulated, randomized, double blind clinical trial was reported in the Journal of Wound Care in June 2009, which evaluated the safety and efficacy of a bacteriophage cocktail to treat infected venous ulcers of the leg in human patients. The FDA approved the study as a phase I clinical trial. The study's results demonstrated the safety of therapeutic application of bacteriophages but did not show efficacy. The authors explain that the use of certain chemicals that are part of standard wound care, for example lactoferrin or silver, may have interfered with bacteriophic eviability. Another controlled clinical trial in Western Europe, treatment of ear infections caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa, 
was reported shortly after these in the journal Clinical Otolaryngology in August 2009. The study concludes that bacteriophage preparations were safe and effective for treatment of chronic ear infections in humans. Additionally, there have been numerous animal and other experimental clinical trials evaluating the efficacy of bacteriophages for various diseases, such as infected burns and wounds, and cystic fibrosis-associated lung infections, among others. Meanwhile, bacteriophage researchers are redeveloping engineered viruses to overcome antibiotic resistance, and engineering the phage genes responsible for coding enzymes which degrade the biofilm matrix phage structural proteins and also the enzymes responsible for lysis of the bacterial cell wall. There have been results showing that T4 phages that are small in size and short-tailed can be helpful in detecting E. coli in the human body. Darrell quickly learned that bacteriophages are found wherever bacteria thrive, in sewers, in rivers that catch waste runoff from pipes, and in the stools of convalescent patients. This includes rivers traditionally thought to have healing powers, including India's Ganges River. In 2015, a psychology professor whose wife is a professor of public health at University of California, San Diego, became ill with a resistant strain of Acinetobacter baumanii, a deadly strain of bacteria especially prevalent in the Middle East. The psychology professor, Tom Patterson, became ill while traveling in Egypt, and eventually fell into a coma. Patterson's wife, Stephanie Strathdee, began working with the head of infectious diseases at UCSD. In her search for alternatives to antibiotics, Strathdee had discovered bacteriophages, and concentrated on reaching out to various institutions to find an appropriate treatment for her husband's infection. According to an article by Laura Kahn in the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA provided emergency approval for experimental intravenous and intra-abdominal cavity treatments. The phage cocktail crafted to attack the Profesaurus infection needed several adjustments, but after three days of treatment in the intensive care unit at Thornton Hospital, part of UC San Diego Health, he woke from his coma. Bacteriophages present in the environment can cause fermentation failures of cheese starter cultures. In order to avoid this, mixed strain starter cultures and culture rotation regimes can be used. Food industry. Since 2006, the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, have approved several bacteriophage products. LMP-102, Intralytics, was approved for treating ready-to-eat, RTE, poultry and meat products. In that same year, the FDA approved Listex, developed and produced by Microbios, using bacteriophages on cheese to kill Listeria monocytogenes bacteria, giving them generally recognized as safe. GRES, status. In July 2007, the same bacteriophage were approved for use on all food products. In 2011, USDA confirmed that Listex is a clean label processing aid and is included in USDA. Research in the field of food safety is continuing to see if lytic phages are a viable option to control other foodborne pathogens in various food products. Diagnostics. In 2011, the FDA cleared the first bacteriophage based product for in vitro diagnostic use. The KeyPath MRSA-MSSA blood culture test uses a cocktail of bacteriophage to detect Staphylococcus aureus in positive blood cultures and determine methicillin resistance or susceptibility. The test returns results in about 5 hours, compared to 2 to 3 days for standard microbial identification and susceptibility test methods. It was the first accelerated antibiotic susceptibility test approved by the FDA. Counteracting bioweapons and toxins. Government agencies in the West have for several years been looking to Georgia and the former Soviet Union for help with exploiting phages for counteracting bioweapons and toxins, such as anthrax and botulism. Developments are continuing among research groups in views. Other uses include spray application in horticulture for protecting plants and vegetable produce from decay and the spread of bacterial disease. Other applications for bacteriophages are as biocides for environmental surfaces, for example, in hospitals, and as preventative treatments for catheters and medical devices before use in clinical settings. The technology for phages to be applied to dry surfaces, for example, uniforms, curtains, or even sutures for surgery now exists. Clinical trials reported in clinical otolaryngology show success in veterinary treatment of pet dogs with otitis. The septic bacterium sensing and identification method uses the ion emission in its dynamics during phage infection and offers high specificity and speed for detection.
Phage display is a different use of phages involving a library of phages with a variable peptide linked to a surface protein. Each phage's genome encodes the variant of the protein displayed on its surface, hence the name, providing a link between the peptide variant and its encoding gene. Variant phages from the library can be selected through their binding affinity to an immobilized molecule, for example, botulism toxin, to neutralize it. The bound, selected phages can be multiplied by reinfecting a susceptible bacterial strain, thus allowing them to retrieve the peptides encoded in them for further study. Antimicrobial drug discovery. Phage proteins often have antimicrobial activity and may serve as leads for peptidomimetics, i.e. drugs that mimic peptides. Phage ligand technology makes use of phage proteins for various applications such as binding of bacteria and bacterial components for example endotoxin, and lysis of bacteria. Basic research. Bacteriophages are also important model organisms for studying principles of evolution and ecology. Bacteriophages may have a lytic cycle or a lysogenic cycle, and a few viruses are capable of carrying out both. With lytic phages such as the T4 phage, bacterial cells are broken open, lysed, and destroyed after immediate replication of the virion. As soon as the cell is destroyed, the phage progeny can find new hosts to infect. Lytic phages are more suitable for phage therapy. Some lytic phages undergo a phenomenon known as lysis inhibition, where completed phage progeny will not immediately lysa out of the cell if extracellular phage concentrations are high. This mechanism is not identical to that of temperate phage going dormant and is usually temporary. In contrast, the lysogenic cycle does not result in immediate lysing of the host cell. Those phages able to undergo lysogeny are known as temperate phages. Their viral genome will integrate with host DNA and replicate along with it relatively harmlessly, or may even become established as a plasmid. The virus remains dormant until host conditions deteriorate, perhaps due to depletion of nutrients, then, the endogenous phages, known as prophages, become active. At this point they initiate the reproductive cycle, resulting in lysis of the host cell. As the lysogenic cycle allows the host cell to continue to survive and reproduce, the virus is replicated in all of the cell's offspring. An example of a bacteriophage known to follow the lysogenic cycle in the lytic cycle is the phage lambda of E. coli. Sometimes prophages may provide benefits to the host bacterium while they are dormant by adding new functions to the bacterial genome in a phenomenon called lysogenic conversion. Examples of the conversion of harmless strains of Corynebacterium diphtheriae or Vibrio cholerae by bacteriophages to highly virulent ones, which cause diphtheria or cholera, respectively. Strategies to combat certain bacterial infections by targeting these toxin encoding prophage have been proposed. To enter a host cell, bacteriophages attach to specific receptors on the surface of bacteria, including lipopolysaccharides, tachoic acids, proteins, or even flagella. This specificity means a bacteriophage can infect only certain bacteria-bearing receptors to which they can bind, which in turn determines the phage's host range. Host growth conditions also influence the ability of the phage to attach and invade them. As phage virions do not move independently, they must rely on random encounters with the right receptors when in solution, blood, lymphatic circulation, irrigation, soil water, etc. Myovirus bacteriophages use a hypodermic syringe-like motion to inject their genetic material into the cell. After making contact with the appropriate receptor, the tail fibers flex to bring the base plate closer to the surface of the cell, this is known as reversible binding. Once attached completely, irreversible binding is initiated and the tail contracts, possibly with the help of ATP present in the tail, injecting genetic material through the bacterial membrane. The injection is done through a sort of bending motion in the shaft by going to the side, contracting closer to the cell and pushing back up. Potoviruses lack an elongated tail sheath similar to that of the myovirus, so they instead use their small, tooth-like tail fibers enzymatically to degrade a portion of the cell membrane before inserting their genetic material. Within minutes, bacterial ribosomes start translating viral mRNA into protein. For RNA-based phages, RNA replicase is synthesized early in the process. Proteins modify the bacterial RNA polymerase so it preferentially transcribes viral mRNA. The host's normal synthesis of proteins and nucleic acids is disrupted, and it is forced to manufacture viral products instead. These products go on to become part of new variants within the cell, helper proteins that help assemble the new variants, or proteins involved in cell lysis. 
Walter Fiers, University of Ghent, Belgium, was the first to establish the complete nucleotide sequence ophagene, 1972, and of the viral genome of bacteriophage MS2, 1976. In the case of the T4 phage, the construction of new virus particles involves the assistance of helper proteins. The base plates are assembled first, with the tails being built upon them afterward. The head capsides, constructed separately, will spontaneously assemble with the tails. The DNA is packed efficiently within the heads. The whole process takes about 15 minutes. Phages may be released via cell lysis, by extrusion, or, in a few cases, by budding. Lysis, by tailed phages, is achieved by an enzyme called endolysin, which attacks and breaks down the cell wall peptidoglycan. An altogether different phage type, the filamentous phages, make the host cell continually secrete new virus particles. Release variants are described as free, and, unless defective, are capable of infecting a new bacterium. Budding is associated with certain mycoplasma phages. In contrast to virion release, phages displaying a lysogenic cycle do not kill the host but, rather, become long term residents as per phage. Given the millions of different phages in the environment, Phages' genomes come in a variety of forms and sizes. RNA phage such as MS2 have the smallest genomes of only a few kilobases. However, some DNA phages such as T4 may have large genomes with hundreds of genes. The size and shape of the capsid varies along with the size of the genome. Bacteriophage genomes can be highly mosaic, i.e. the genome of many phage species appear to be composed of numerous individual modules. These modules may be found in other phage species in different arrangements. Mycobacteriophages, bacteriophages with mycobacterial hosts, have provided excellent examples of this mosaicism. In these mycobacteriophages, genetic assortment may be the result of repeated instances of site-specific recombination and illegitimate recombination, the result of phage genome acquisition of bacterial host genetic sequences. Evolutionary mechanisms shaping the genomes of bacterial viruses vary between different families and depend on the type of the nucleic acid, characteristics of the virion structure, as well as the mode of viral life cycle. Phages often have dramatic effects on their hosts. As a consequence, the transcription pattern of the infected bacterium may change considerably. For instance, infection of Pseudomonas aeruginosa by the temperate phage PAP3 changed the expression of 38%, 2165,633, of its host's genes. Many of these effects are probably indirect, hence, the challenge becomes to identify the direct interactions among bacteria and phage. Several attempts have been made to map protein-protein interactions among phage and their host. For instance, bacteriophage lambda was found to interact with its host E. coli by 31 interactions. However, a large-scale study revealed 62 interactions, most of which were new. Again, the significance of many of these interactions remains unclear, but these studies suggest that there are most likely several key interactions and many indirect interactions whose role remains uncharacterized. Metagenomics has allowed the in-water detection of bacteriophages that was not possible previously. Bacteriophages have also been used in hydrological tracing and modeling in river systems, especially where surface water and groundwater interactions occur. The use of phages is preferred to the more conventional dye marker because they are significantly less absorbed when passing through groundwaters and they are readily detected at very low concentrations. Non-polluted water may contain CA. 2 times 10 bacteriophages per milliliter. Bacteriophages are thought to extensively contribute to horizontal gene transfer in natural environments, principally via transduction but also via transformation. Metagenomics based studies have also revealed that the roams from a variety of environments harbor antibiotic resistance genes, including those that could come from multidrug resistance. The following bacteriophages are extensively studied. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.